a shalom to the elect, the nation of Israel. First and foremost, I'd like to start this lesson by giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha, Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles, great millstone who rule well and taught me this 100% truth. Salutations unto the 144,000 doing the work of the Lord in all truth, honor, and sincerity. And shalom to the one third men, women, and children who believe in this word being taught unto them. It's your brother Amna wa Allah. And I'm back at you with another video. And uh, I'm going to be going into uh, uh, these two posts that I came across on the social media. You know, so let's start off by reading this one here. And it says, um, The Bible is unfolding in everybody's face, and everyone thinks it's a joke. That's right, man. Because you see, <laughs> uh, you know, the scriptures say in the book of Ecclesiastes how folly, which is foolishness, is set in great in, in great dignity, and the rich sit in low place. That's in Ecclesiastes ten and six. You know, so so you have what you have is a society that glorifies wickedness, that glorifies foolishness, and then and then the rich, which really. The true riches is, is, is having this uh, Excuse me The true riches is having this wisdom, knowledge and understanding Alright, that's why When you read Revelation 2 and 9 It says, I know the tribulation of them That say that are Jews and are not And, 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 and um, Oh man It says something to the effect of, To the effect of But thou art rich oh, Do not, let me, let me just get it man it's just not coming to mind properly Revelation 2 and 9 I know thy works and tribulation And poverty but thou art rich Okay And I know the blasphemy of them Which say they are the Jews and are not But are of the synagogue of Satan Now this of course originally was pertaining to wicked Israelites But you can also liken this onto Onto the small hats man They're the ones that, 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 that say they're Jews and they're not And they're the synagogue of Satan man Okay, and, and they're rich Okay Alright, but, but really we're the ones that are rich It says but, and, and, and poverty, but thou art rich And what is it that makes us rich? Having the uh, The true Wisdom, knowledge and understanding Of the scriptures, man That's what Makes us rich, because you know The scriptures say How um, Uh Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivered from day from death. That's in Proverbs um, eleven and four and verse five. All right, so you have biblical prophecy unfolding. You know, like you've got the uh, the you know uh, the, the weather. You know whether whether Esau Edom is doing it by way of harp or. Whether it's the most high At the end of the day Whether it's Esau, Edom Or whether it's directly from the Lord It's still all, it's all still from the Lord You know And it just goes to show you The times that we're in Okay You got Esau, Edom Manufacturing a famine You know He's been burning down These food processing plants Oh, oh you thought You thought That just went away huh You thought that wasn't Going to amount to anything huh You know You got um, Now there's a war on beef you know, there's just many, many different things that Esau Edom is coming down with, but but really, what's happening is that it's um, it's actually biblical prophecy that's that's um, taking place, man. Okay. So this other one says the Bible is literally unfolding right now in front of our eyes, and people still think it's a game. I notice how when these news reporters talk about these calamities, yeah, they never, they never, they never say, um, they never um, say, oh, it's of Quranic proportions or or Talmudic proportions. They always say it is of biblical proportions, man. So they're le they're literally letting you know all these other religions, all these other idols are false, man, and 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 really. The Bible contains the truth But not everybody has the truth That reads the Bible Okay 
got you got loads of people uh, uh, um, teaching a lie. Okay, loads of people. You know, a a a anyone can open up the book, but to open up the book and to read it with understanding, that's 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 another that's another thing. You know. So this is Sirach seventeen. And uh, let's start at verse 8 He set his eyes upon their hearts That he might show them the greatness of his work You see, because it's only the elect Who really understand the true nature Of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushai It's only the elect who really know The true name of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushai And call on those names and believe Okay? Because you got guys out there yeah, they, they might know the name But they're not calling on it in faith And believing and You know They ain't doing that But only the elect are doing that Okay Let me turn this up a bit It says in verse 9 He gave them to glory in his marvelous acts forever that they might declare his works with understanding and hey you can you can underline that with understanding man you got you got christians breaking down this bible without understanding man you got christians talking about how you know they, they, they the way they break down revelation 12 and 7 is is that um uh, it, it's already happened you know, they, they break it down as if, oh, it's already happened and, and Satan fell out of, um, uh, um, f fell from heaven, right? <laughs> Satan, Satan fell, uh, uh, was casted out of heaven with his, with his, with his, with his you know, demons and, and they're down here on earth. But Satan be up in the spirit realm on the, uh, what do you call it, man? On the left hand side Of the heavenly father man Whilst Yahweh Shai is on the right Okay So again Sirach 17 and 9 He gave them to glory In his marvellous acts forever That they might declare his works With understanding Okay With understanding I repeat With understanding man Because any Tom, Dick and Harry Can open up the scriptures and read but can you open up the scriptures and read with understanding? And again, only the elect can open up the scriptures and read with understanding. This is Isaiah 11 and verse 2. And it says, um, Isaiah 11 and 2. And the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding. So if you don't have the spirit of the Lord resting upon you, you therefore cannot receive the understanding of the scriptures. Okay. So let's read that again. Okay. Read that again. It says, um, and the spirit of the Lord, right, shall rest upon him. The spirit of wisdom and understanding The spirit of counsel and might The spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord Okay So this is the spirit That's resting upon the elect man Alright Verse 3 It says And shall make him Of quick understanding You see that? It says Shall make him Of quick understanding man So the elect Ain't gonna be Bucking up Against the true Understanding of the scriptures man Okay The elect are gonna have The scriptures broken down to them And they're gonna know That oh okay This, this is what it is This is what it means There ain't gonna be Much resistance man You know When you read the book Of 2 Peter chapter 3 and verse 16 It talks about how They wrestle with the scriptures Onto their own destruction man Okay Meaning that they're, they're, they're fighting You know 
trying to get the understanding of the scriptures. They're fighting, they're fighting and fighting, you know, and, and uh, you know, that spirit of understanding just ain't dwelling upon them, man. Okay, they're just not able to, to extrapolate and get the true wisdom, knowledge and understanding that's contained within the scriptures. However, the elect can. You know, what does it say in the book of Amos 3 and verse 7, man? It says, um, surely the Most High will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets, man. Okay, so only the prophets of the Lord have um, the secrets of Yahweh Ba Hashem Shai. Okay. So let's read Isaiah 11 and 3 again. All right. It says, And shall make him of quick understanding in the fear of the Lord. Right. And he shall not judge after the sight of his eyes, neither reprove after the hearing of his ears. Because, you, you know, you, you, when, you, when you take on the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahashai, you see things through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahashai. You don't see things through um, um, fleshly lenses you see things through a spiritual lens okay so therefore your your understanding is, is, is different man read um what's that first corinthians chapter uh, <laughs> chapter chapter 12 man that goes into that around about the ninth verse on down if i'm not mistaken so let's go back to um Sivrak 17 Rock 17 and um, 10 and the elect shall praise his holy name okay this is what is prophesied for the elect man the elect are going to know the true name of the heavenly father and his only begotten son and they're going to praise the true name of the heavenly father and his only begotten son man okay it says the elect shall praise his holy name man okay this is what it is man the name ain't a secret unto the elect all right the, the elect have the true name of the heavenly father and his only begotten son man and they, 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 they call on those names in the time of trouble, man. You know, the scriptures say in what, Acts 4 and 12, neither is there salvation in any other name. Okay. There's only salvation in the names of Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay. Um, verse 11, Sirach 17 and 11. Beside this, Says, beside this he gave them knowledge and the law of life for an heritage okay and, and we've received this this you know this true wisdom knowledge and understanding of the scriptures okay he made an everlasting covenant an everlasting agreement with them and showed them his judgments what scripture does that remind you of um psalms 147 and verse 19 man he showed his word unto jacob his statues unto Israel. He has not dealt so with any other nation. Okay. It's all there, man. It's all there. <clears throat> it says uh, in verse 13, their eyes saw the majesty of his glory and their ears heard his glorious voice. That's right, man. And how do we hear the voice of the Lord by 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 hearing um this word this a hundred percent truth being taught unto us man you know the, the scriptures talk about how um 
the most high speaks through men. You know, you got you got like the Christians, they they wanna give you the argument of, oh yeah, we're gonna just wait until the kingdom. I mean I mean you know, we, we, we want uh, uh Jesus to come down and break down the scriptures for us. We don't wanna listen to you. Listen man, when when Yahweh Shai comes down, man, he ain't coming down to break scripture to break down scriptures, man. He's coming to, to, to he's coming here to break down elements, man. And, and, and you know The human body Is comprised of elements also So that means he's coming to break you down too Okay Verse 14 And he said unto them Beware of all unrighteousness And he gave every man commandment Concerning his behaviour Alright so you know We have to We have to Keep our head in a swivel And And, 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 and You know Separate the, the unrighteous From From the righteous man Know what's good and know what's wrong Okay But this is the thing man you, You've you literally got a uh, uh, Biblical prophecy Playing out In front of everyone's eyes You know And and uh, <laughs> You know People are just having a piss party People ain't taking it serious You know This is Sirach chapter 5 and 7 It says make no tarrying to turn to the Lord And put not off from day to day Yeah man every day oh, I'll, I'll repent tomorrow I'll, I'll, I'll seek him tomorrow I'll, Look you might not see tomorrow man There's there's many people That died last night That thought they, 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 they had a plan For what they was going to do tomorrow Oh yeah I'm going to do this I'm going to do that I'm going to go here I'm going to go there You know they had a plan And guess what Tomorrow never came, man. You know what's that? What's that saying? How's that saying go, man? Tomorrow, tomorrow ain't promised. You know, even Yahweh Shai, when he spoke in the scriptures, well, uh, was it Matthew five or Matthew six? He said, um, he pretty much said, "Don't worry about tomorrow, man, because you already got enough bullshit on your plate that you got to deal with today. So you know, let 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 tomorrow worry about itself, man." Roughly paraphrasing. Even Matthew five and twenty five or Matthew six and twenty five. Somewhere around there uh, But anyways It says make no tiring To turn to the Lord Man stop Stop delaying it man Stop Stop kicking the can Down the road Because the, the, this thing Is really Is really happening man Prophecy Is really taking place I'm putting it off From day to day For suddenly Shall the wrath Of the Lord Come forth And in thy security Thou shalt be destroyed And perish In the day of vengeance Man all right, so so hey, the scriptures say when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction come up upon them as travail upon a woman with child. So so when you think everything is all good and you're in that peace and safety spirit, that's when the Lord is gonna come raining down His judgment, man. Okay, and the Lord ain't slack concerning His promise, man. You think you think just because it ain't happened, it ain't gonna happen at all. You better think again, man. Okay. Bring up one more preset I'm going to close up Isaiah 55 and 6 Seek ye the Lord While he may be found Call ye upon him While he is near all right, and the Lord is near now Not for long though But as long as As long as you know You still see the men out there And the highways and the byways Which you laugh at And you disregard Alright let's not forget You know as long as you still see These videos going out on the YouTube Well the Lord can still be found The moment that he puts an end to that The Lord can no longer be found Okay It says let the wicked forsake his way And the unrighteous man his thoughts And let him return unto the Lord And he will have mercy on him and to our power, for he will abundantly pardon. See, and this is this is what um, the wicked of our people do not understand, man. Is that the Lord will abundantly pardon, man? Okay, he just he just wants you to repent, to get right with him, and and and, and to turn from your wicked way, man. That's all the Lord really wants. But you you guys like to overcomplicate the Lord, and you know the Lord ain't asking for much, man. Just just repent. 
rehearse the righteous act. The Lord knows you're in the flesh. He knows you ain't going to get 100% right. You know, so just rehearse the righteous act. Teach the word and, 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 and you know, abstain from wickedness, man. You know, have faith in, 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 in the true name. Yahweh Shai. Teach those names. And, and you, that's it pretty much, man. You know, endure the suffering, endure the afflictions. And I will, in time, come and save you, man. That's what the Lord's really asking for, you know. But, but, but you know, Israel, <laughs> when I act like the Lord is asking for too much, man. But you know what, man? When, 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 when that time of judgment comes, man, they, they're going to know that, that they erred, man. Not knowing the truth. And, and, and really, they're going to know that, 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 you know, they didn't, the Lord wasn't really asking for much. In the grand scheme of things, man. But, you know, niggas just like to make excuses. All right? But anyways, man, I've pulled up at the job now, man. So I'm going to wrap it up here. You know, I pray, Lord willing, this lesson has been edifying. Until the next time, I say shalom.